Lay Days, of course, but tomorrow afternoon at half past three. This is what we can see for the rest of the afternoon. Though. In just a moment, it's those dino babies. At ten past four, there's Peter Pan and the Pirates. When Peter Pan of an old magical map. Oh, at 4.35 in Cartoon Critters, Dog's Body is supposed to be having a, a rotten day. Is he? And at 5 o'clock, there's more news from around the world in News Round. And then I've got a biker update, and you can see the programme itself at 10 past 5. Biker Grill. We will be watching it. But now it's the Dino Babies, the story of Oliver Twerp and the Snide Piper. Oh. Dino Babies playing in the prehistoric. invite us to his house very often. This is a terrible neighborhood. Yeah, even with my eyes closed. Uh, we're, we're almost there, guys. I can see his cave. <laughs> Yoo-hoo, Dad, we're here. Gee, if he was going to invite us over, he could have cleaned up the place. I did. The spider webs are fresh. <laughs> They're still sticky. So, what are we gonna play? I'm ready to have fun. Well, I made us some snacks. I made them myself. Gee, um, uh, where did you get the green icing? It's pond scum, my favorite. Want a piece, Marshall? Uh-uh, can't make me. Hey, what kind of candy is that? It's moving. Chocolate covered ants. Better grab one, they're going fast. <laughs> well, at least the gooey, squishy melons look safe. Hey, there's a bite out of this one. I had to make sure they were fresh. So, what do you guys want to do now? Well, uh, I could tell a story to get our minds off this place. What? I mean, uh, tell a story in this place. Is it about bugs and lizards and snakes and creepy stuff? Well, uh, no. Uh, it, it's about a fairy princess who was so sweet that everything she touched turned to sugar. Thanks, but no thanks, Truman. It's my house. I want to tell this story. Uh, but, uh, you've never told a story before, Dak. So, it's my turn. Well, what's it about? A dino boy named Oliver Twerp. His mom sent him away to a school that was really strict. Oliver and the other students had to study really hard, and the mean old matron made them do other hard work, too. Like scrubbing floors. Hey, you little twerp! You missed the spot! Where, ma'am? There! She isn't just strict, she's mean. I heard that!
Good luck. Bye. Nice knowing you. Please, ma'am, I don't want any more. What? <laughs> Why, you little twerp, how dare you? There are children going hungry in detention. Is there room for one more? Yes, and that's exactly where you're going. Little Ben made me do it. Did not. There's no crew in detention. Oh, he's right. I made him do it. And then the mean old matron took Oliver and his pal to detention. Uh, what's detention? It's kind of like a school dungeon. Uh, this story needs something fun, like a beanstalk. For once, I agree with Marshall. Oliver really wanted to go home. He missed his mommy. And he was in luck, because little Ben had some magic beans. You gotta be kidding. Oh, where'd you get those? I don't know. They weren't here a minute ago. Must be a new storyteller. And your magic beans grew into a beanstalk. And Oliver and little Ben climbed out on it. And they skipped home and lived happily ever after. Stop! I'm getting sick! Dad, you're making this a gooey, squishy story. I like things gooey, squishy. Well, 